The flowers of Chelsea are fragrant, fresh and falling now as we get towards the day. But Peter Vargamans is over from Antwerp. He's been painting for us now for two days at the Chelsea Flower Show. Yeah. Peter's been enjoying himself. He's been working this fantastic peony into this composition he bought from home. Peter, we see your fantastic work all around us today. What yeah. inspired you to start painting? What, what picture or what, sub, what sculpture or something started you? Well, it started very when I was very young. Yes. Uh, as a child, let's say, uh, real fascinating uh, seeing art generally. And uh, it was for me fascinating to do it because also my father was also a little bit artist. Yeah. And maybe it started from at home. Uh, he had not the chance, the, ch the, the chance to do it, but he gave me the chance. So did you go to college or did you I, go to... I went to the academy when mm -hmm. I was 15. Yes. So really, uh, to start up a profession, it was from the beginning. I uh, really, I knew before it was not easy to do, but uh, I started as a student and in the academy for six years. and. Um, one other child of 15 go to football playing. I went to the museum, studying, painting. looking to the amazing art uh, artists from the, the masters from the century, from two, three hundred years ago. I was fascinating to see them. I, I often ask myself, how can I ever do that in my life? So and you have. Yeah. So flowers, were they something that you saw in those old, old master paintings and thought flowers particularly interesting? Or, were, or yeah. were at the time when you were 15, were you painting no, a range of subjects? No, I paint many objects, um, different objects, uh, portraits, uh, ballerinas, ladies. In the academy I study a lot of drawing studies of old master statues. But most of all, I was most fascinated by to paint details. Yeah. I'm character. To, to, to paint details. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I'm not an expressionist, you know. It's uh, something about your character is important, to follow your character. Yeah. That comes from you, doesn't it? Yes, to be yourself. Be yourself. That's yeah. most important of all. Fantastic. Yeah. And the composition you've got here is just one of many you've painted for us, obviously. But for yeah. you, putting together the flowers, forming the composition, that takes yeah. a certain skill and an eye, doesn't it? I know when you work in the studio, you're surrounded by the, yeah. the vases, yeah. the bowls that you use. That's, um, that's right. Um, actually, I am a typical studio artist mm -hmm. because I like to have everything under control. Lighting, contrast, composition. I not often go outside in nature because I have problem with the lighting then, in that case. If you see the painting, you see the play or light and darkness is all around under control. Yeah. You see the flower here, the light is not correct, but in my fantasy, I created more difference between dark and light to give more attention on the painting. And it really gets the depth, doesn't it? Behind yes. and inside all of those patterns. Yeah, so you can see around the it whole makes flower. A, it makes a painting interesting to see a tension between light and dark and respect for the nature of course yes. huh? but it needs also a lot of fantasy to make a nice painting you, you bring more fantasy than you think your imagination Peter, imagination is, yeah, yeah it's yeah. more important just behind us on the wall it's one of yeah. your signature pieces really the, the yeah. fact composition within a box within In, the frame yes. and that's yeah. something we associate with you now you've, you've, you've done it for a number of years for the gallery it's yeah. quite an exciting idea, isn't it? It's very different as well. Yes, it's very difficult. For me, it's, um, um, yeah, we call it a three-dimensional effect. It's very important to give to the maximum how far can you go to, to go to reality. It, it is flat, first of, first of all. Yeah. Painting is flat. But you give so emotion and depth in the painting. That's For me, it's more, it's very nice to do. It's most important. Yeah, and yeah. it's clever as well, isn't it, really? I think that's the thing yeah. with it. It's, yeah. It challenges the person who's viewing it to really yeah. think about the, the effect that you've created. Yes. And I know you've been quite excited over recent years to try other shapes. You've, you've tried pictures that are not necessarily in the landscape or portrait format. And you've tried different sizes. And you've recently got into more portrait work. As you said, when you were younger, that was something you've 
you used as a, as yeah. a study yeah. um, and you've painted some fantastic ballerinas recently and that's taken you outdoors. Have you enjoyed doing all of those? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, um, I paint, I can, most of all, if you're specialized in, in something, mm -hmm. you'll get better and better. This is uh, an advice I can give to many artists because if you paint different objects, it can be fun for yourself. But to be very good in something, you have to specialize something for your, for your own uh, reputation. And um, yeah, it, the paintings are getting better also. Well, you, so. you always like to feel that you're improving, don't you? And it, when we look at one of these pictures, we always think, wow, wow, how can you get better? How can you improve it? But, yeah. but you love all of that, the challenge of trying yes. to find yes. new ways. The problem for me is not exactly uh, painting itself. For me, painting is not difficult. But to find something new, original, a nice composition, color combinations, um, that's for me more important today, yeah. to find something new. Huh? And you've got a local florist in Antwerp that you took us to, near your home, near your studio. Um, that's fantastic array of flowers and plants there, doesn't she? She has a really wonderful place to visit. Does that, do you walk in there and think, wow, those look amazing? Or do you go in there thinking, I want roses, I want tulips? How? No, no. Um, it's a good question because um, I did not know before if I have finished a painting and I start up a new one. Mm -hmm. I cannot say, now today I'm going to paint flowers like that, but yeah. I have to find them. can be in the garden. Of course, yeah, 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 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is a beautiful painting. Yeah, you, yeah. I see it from the beginning. Yeah. I bring them in my studio and then it starts all over. The big size or small. What is the color combination? Because in this case, the color of the background has almost the same tint of color of the flowers. Yeah. It's one total uh, combination. Yeah. That's what we have to do in the studio. That's, um, 